Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Today we're looking at the Thrunite Catapult Mini V2. I love this little light. Um, I think I had the original one in like a silver color or a gray color, but really cool compact light that's got a lot of punch for something this small. So let me go through some of the details, let you know kind of the ins and outs of it, and then we'll take it out into the night and use it. Uh, so there's your box that it comes with. Get a USB-C cord for charging it up instruction manual and then your little bag of goodies here with a lanyard an extra cover for your charging port and some o-rings so you don't get a sheath with this which I, I would like it's not a deal breaker but i would like a compact little sheath to like keep this in a bag or in your glove box but just think about how small this thing is you can definitely keep it in the glove box of your car in the center console and then you have a very compact light which gives quite a nice amount of light for something so small here's a look at your battery it's an 18 350 1100 milliamp hour battery so you're going to put it with the flat end down and then the buttoned end up and then just crank this down um, I've had this for a little bit so I honestly I don't remember if it came I don't think it came with the little insert to stop it from functioning so just be aware of that when you get it um, there's your button to activate it so hold it down it's gonna come on at your if you can see that but your moonlight setting and then hold it down it's gonna cycle up low medium let's see here we go low medium high double click for turbo and then you're gonna triple click for strobe. So strobe warning here, one, two, three, and there's your strobe. So very simple for your functionality. Um, you charge it on the back port. I'll roll in uh, footage here so you can see what that looks like. Um, when it is red in the uh, center of your button, it means it's charging. When it's blue, it's fully charged. Um, rel relatively easy to do. I always charge it right when I get it just to make sure it's got full power before I go out and test it. Um, but yeah, simple enough to do. And I do like the fact that it's USB-C. I just think that's a win overall. It's made of 6061 aluminum, hard anodized, so pretty standard as far as what a lot of through night lights um, or how they're actually built. I don't generally run a lanyard, but I think for this one I might do that because it doesn't have a sheath system. I'm not going to EDC this in a pocket, but you know, to put it in a bag now with a lanyard, I think would be a nice addition. Let's talk about outputs. So Firefly 0.6 lumens for 85 hours. That is a long time. Very, very low output for that. You can see that it's on. But yeah, not even a lumen, but 85 hours, a lot of burn time. That amount of output for 85 hours is not super functional. Even in a room that's pitch black, having that, it's a very small amount of light. But 85 hours at that very low output. Now the next up at low is 70 lumens for 6.6 .6 hours, which is enough light to get around the house, to you know have it light up a room so you can operate a little bit in the room. Um, I'm just thinking like in a power outage or something like that. And 6.6 .6 hours, so that's a, uh, that's a nice output at the low level and a, and a nice amount of burn time there. Medium is 160 lumens for 2.75 hours. High is 331 lumens for 68 minutes. And when you hear 331 lumens and around about an hour, you may say, wow, that's you know not a ton of burn time. But think about how small this battery is. That is a tiny, tiny little battery. Your turbo is 1108, so over a thousand lumens, and then that's gonna drop down to 358 lumens. And your burn time between those two is, it's gonna be 80 seconds at that turbo, and then drop down to that 300-ish for a little over an hour, 62 minutes. Now, as is true on a lot of three night flashlights, you have the uh, little indicator switch. So blue, purple, red, off. So blue means it's between 21% to 100%. Purple is going to be 11% to 20%. Red is going to be 1% to 10%. And then if there's no light coming out, it means your battery's dead. Real quick, your LED for this is an SFT40. You can see nice smooth reflector in there. So that's what that looks like. So you'll see what it looks like um, when I record the footage at night to play for you. Um, but it's, like I said, it's a compact little light. I mean, it's really small, a nice amount of output um, for something this small. And I think, you know, like if you've got a big hefty light, that's really gonna punch a ton of light out into the night, but you also want something smaller that's gonna give you a nice amount of light for, like I said, a kit, a car, your, you know, your center console, your emergency bags. This could be one that you wanna check out. I don't think, I wouldn't call this EDC friendly. Um, not because of the light, but because there's no clip, um, pocket clip. It's got a pretty wide bezel. And then also um, it doesn't have a um, doesn't have like a sheath or a holster system. But put this in a bag, like kit, those types of things. I think that could be a nice way to, uh, to rock and roll with this thing. It does have a lockout feature as well. So when it's off, click it four times. One, two, three, four. It's going to flash three times and now it's locked out. So if I bump this, I bump this. It's not coming on, right? So to unlock it, click it four times, one, two, three, four. And now it is unlocked and come back on. That's a nice feature because obviously, you know, if you put it in a bag, even if something presses up against it, it's not going to release it, which I, I like that because some lockout features hold it down, it comes on and then locks off. And then you hold it down and it unlocks. 
So in a bag, it's got, that's gonna unlock easily if something's leaning against it, whereas four clicks is a lot less likely to happen. All right, so there's your rundown on the Catapult Mini V2. Now let's take it out into the night and show you what it looks like as we use it. All right, out here at night to test this light out. So let's start off at the uh, Firefly level and looking at the ground, you can see it down there, very tight beam. I'll just put my hand out here so you can see that. But yeah, definitely not, not very floody at this point. There is a little bit of a ring outside of what you can see on the camera, but definitely quite hard to see. So let's go up to the, let's go here. There's your low, and obviously I can see in front of me just fine. Now let's look out into the yard. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at the, the playset, and it's lighting the whole thing up. It's definitely a, a, a nice, tight, um, a nice hot center beam, and then you've got, I mean, you could see the ring, you know, outside of there. So you definitely have a hotter center, and then there's a little bit darker, and then it lights up towards the edge a little bit. But for this tiny little light on the low setting, to be able to spot that thing, so nicely and i would say that thing is probably about 35 yards away so pretty nice for the low setting we'll go to medium here there's your medium and you can really see the the center beam and a little bit of dark and then it lights up again at the edge so that's your medium we'll just look around the yard here and a lot of nice light let's go to high not a huge difference you can see it jump up but not a huge difference between the uh the low or the medium and the high there. But you could definitely see up into the trees nicely there. You know, if you were trying to spot something that was up in the trees, some sort of animal. So I go low, medium, high. Let's go to turbo here. All right, we're gonna go up to turbo here, but let me um, let me go to low and then I'll double click to turbo here. So now we're at turbo. I will tell you that from uh, the high to turbo, I don't see a huge difference. So watch this, low, medium, high low medium high double click to turbo i mean i don't i guess there's a jump but i don't see much of a jump there so um when you're at low let's go back to low here when you're at low and double click you can see it jump but it almost looks like it jumps to high let me turn it off and double click double click yeah you can't double click from off so we'll go to just messing around with it here. Low, there's medium. Let's double click to turbo. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't seem very different at all from the high. Uh, maybe a little bit. I just don't see a ton of change. Let's look down here and try again. Low, all right, here we go. Low, medium, high. Low, medium, high. Yeah, I really don't see a ton of difference between the uh, the uh, high and the turbo. But, yeah, I mean, at the high level, low, medium, high. At the high level, I mean, again, for a tiny little light, definitely punching some light out into the darkness. I'm going to walk over here to the edge of the woods. Shine it into the woods. Pretty thick woods out here. It's a little bit hard to see into it. But I mean, yeah, you can see back there, I'm zoomed in more. Those, those uh, two trees, one, two, in the thick woods, you're definitely seeing that. Let's see what else over here you can see into there. Let's zoom in even more. Back to that dead pine tree that you can see. And beyond it, or is that a dead pine? No, that's not a dead pine tree. That's probably new, new buds coming out. Looks kind of brown, but anyhow, yeah. And this thing is getting warm. I can tell you at this level, it's definitely getting warm. So let me readjust it and go low, medium, high, and just leave it on the high as opposed to the turbo. But either way, it's definitely punching some light out into the night here. All right, a couple more shots here. They're uh, putting a new house in next to us. No one's living there yet, but take a look at this. So this is on high, certainly can see just fine. And then let me turn and look back into the woods. So I've gone all the way back to the other end of my driveway. And yeah, I mean, on the high, you can definitely see a ton. Nothing in the yard's hiding from me if I got this thing on here. There's low, and I could still, I could still see most of the yard, even at the low. There's the medium, definitely better. 
Now let's go up to the high. And turbo, again, I don't see any difference when I click the turbo. But So I'm going to mess around with this thing, and then I'll come back tomorrow in the daylight and report in final thoughts. All right, guys, we're back here wrapping up talking about the Thrunite Catapult Mini V2. And some quick thoughts. First off, your price point, you're looking at 39 bucks on Amazon. They've got a 15% off coupon. So you're going to spend, let's ballpark and say, you know, 39 is 40 bucks. And then 15% of that is going to be another six off. So, you know, let's say 34, 35 bucks. Um, I will say that I do like the light overall. I mean, it's super compact and gives you some nice light. Let me tell you some of the downsides I'm aware of. I don't see a big jump from the high to the turbo setting. I've tried multiple times. I've tried it fully charged, partially charged, and it doesn't seem to make a huge difference. Um, but at that highest setting and or bumping to the turbo setting, it gives you some really nice light for such a compact little flashlight. I would like to see this have a little holster. Um, for something this size, I'd put it in a bag, but if I had a holster, that'd be even better. I think this could be a great light for a car, center console, keep it in your little side pocket there next to your um, next to your driver's seat in the door. Yeah, I like that idea. In light of that, you could take it out and you know, if you gotta work on the car, you can do it. If you see something out in the distance, it'll definitely punch light out into the night. Um, and for, you know, 35 bucks-ish, I think you've got a nice little flashlight there. Long-term use, I can't speak to that yet because I've only had it for probably maybe a month or so. Um, but it does seem to work well. I do like the fact it's rechargeable. I do like the fact that it's USB-C rechargeable. I do like the fact that you can replace the battery. So when this battery dies, boom, you can put another one in and rock and roll. Whew, the bugs here in New Hampshire are kicking up. Um, yeah, I think there's lots of wins to it. Um, I'd like to see the sheath or holster system. And then I'd like to see a little bit more, um, I guess, a notable increase when you go to the turbo. But still puts out a, a good amount of light. So... Um, not an EDC light, not a ultimate searchlight spotlight, but a nice kind of in between EDC and searchlight or spotlight in the, uh, through night catapult mini V2. So I'll put a link down below in the description section for this video. Um, if you want to pick one up on Amazon or maybe over at the through night store, you can do that as well. And let's, uh, let's hear your thoughts based on this one. Obviously you've, if you've watched my videos, you'll see other through night flashlights. What have you seen? What do you like? What do you think about this one? Let's get that conversation started in the comment section now. All right, guys, thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.